good 100 and probably 10 degree Arizona day. So I'm down here, I'm looking around the eaves and rake of your home, doing your roof inspection. And take a look at everything and then I'm gonna get up on your roof. So far I'm gonna tell you, I found a few areas of rot on your fascia that we're gonna to have to address and then we'll get up on your roof and take a look from there. Starting right here, this is the southeastern corner. There's a little bit of issue right there, but uh, we'll keep going and show you the rest of it. Right here is your flat roof. You have some external uh, fascia piece right here, uh, support that is starting to show signs of dry rot. It's gonna be our recommendation to get that replaced uh, so that way you have a sturdy wood uh, frame for your flat roof. Right here, the same thing on the other side, that wood is starting to have dry rot. We're gonna recommend that it gets replaced as well. Right here in this corner, it looks like the wood's warping a little bit, but it doesn't look like it has too much damage to it, so. Now on the western side of your home, this piece of fascia is showing a lot of signs of uh, wear, especially right through here. It's gonna be my recommendation that we at least replace this section right through here, but I would also recommend that we probably wanna consider getting this whole section replaced because there's quite a lot of dry, uh, rotten wear on this piece of uh, fascia. Right here on the corner, you have some splitting wood. And then when we take it around to the front, you can see that it split to the front and showing signs of a lot of wear. I would recommend replacing this corner right here so that way you have a strong piece. So coming out a few feet, and replacing this corner. The fascia on this section is showing signs of rot and it's the problem is you have this cactus right here so I'm going to recommend that we replace this section. It might be a little bit challenging with this cactus right here but I'm going to recommend that you get this section replaced. Um, coming up to it, it's a little bit soft to the touch but not too bad but uh, yeah my recommendation to get that section replaced. Fascia right here showing signs of rot and damage needs to be replaced and then some weathering of the fascia right here. So it looks like more of an opinion if you wanna get that replaced or not. Might need just a really good coat of paint, but I am seeing signs of some splitting happening, so. All right, so now I'm up on your roof. I'm gonna take you around your roof, show you what I'm looking at, but it's gonna be my recommendation that you get your roof replaced. There are a couple of soft spots, a couple of places near your uh, vent jacks also need to be resealed. And you have a three-tap shingle, which is an, uh, uh, a shingle that's been phased out. It doesn't hold up as well uh, to storms and wind damage and everything else. So recommendation gets you an upgrade shingle anyways. So let me take you around and show you what I'm looking at. So now if you have a couple missing shingle plus some old mounts and a hole right there, um, it's gonna be our recommendation to get those uh, taken off when we redo your roof and then new shingles right here. Coming over here, your flat roof section also, looking at how deteriorated it is. You can see that it's starting to degranulize. So it's gonna be our recommendation and bubbling up right there. Our recommendation that we replace this complete uh, thing with a new peel and stick. Uh, your vent jacks right there. And then right here you have your T vent, which is starting to come up, which, can, which will cause you problems. Another thing I wanted to show you is that your AC unit right here, it's really close to the ridge, which is something that's uh, not very good when you're trying to uh, prevent any leaks. So that's, a, that's an issue that we're gonna have to make sure that that's nice and sealed. Also, it looks like there's some sealant that's missing from along there in the vent. So I'm gonna put all my findings together in a report and send it your way.